very good morning dear students today's session is i'll going to explain about uh, frequency domain uh, last class i briefed about that what you mean by frequency domain now today i'll going to discuss about uh, different types of frequency uh, domain so mainly uh, frequency domains are categorized into uh, three types uh, one it is uh, called as uh, smoothing filters the smoothing filter is nothing but uh, low pass filters and then second one it is called as a sharpening filters uh, sharpening filters is nothing but high pass filters then the last one it is called as a homomorphic filters so these are the uh, basic classifications from the uh, frequency domain filters now today's sessions i will going to discuss one by one uh, first let us start with the uh, smoothing filters as already i told smoothing filter is nothing but a low pass filters these filters are used for uh, nice reductions again these low pass filters are a smoothing filters uh, can be classified into uh, three types uh, one it is called as a ideal low pass filters second one it is called as a butterworth low pass filters third one it is called as a gaussian low pass filters so now we will discuss one by one ah uh, before that i'll going to conclude that uh, even i pass filters also even in the i pass filters we have mainly four types butterworth filters gaussian filters Uh, laplacian filters and i boost uh, filters now today sessions i will look into the only uh, smoothing filters so what you mean by smoothing filters or smoothing frequency domain filters uh, smoothing filters are also it is a low pass filters so here it just sharp transitions and nicer in the gray levels contribute to the high frequency contents in an image a low pass filters only passes low frequency and blocks the i ones it removes noise and introduces blurring as a side effect in the image the basic model of these filtering so what we given the notations so here g of uv equal to h of uv multiply with f of uv what for this now these coordinates uv is a coordinates where f of uv is the fourier transform of the image to be filtered h of uv is nothing but transfer function of the filters g of uv is nothing but enhanced image where i frequency components have been altered so this is we called as a basic model of the smoothing filters so this smoothing is a fundamental law operations in the frequency domain so now we will look into the one by one as i told in the beginning we have three types of filters low pass filters 
Butterworth filters and Gaussian filters. So now we look into that. The first one, ideal low pass filters. What for these ideal low pass filters? The ideal filters as sharp slope in transitions, whereas Gaussian filters. Smooth slope in the transition, whereas in the Butterworth filter, as a parameter is called filter order, which controls the slope of transition band. I will have filters order leads to ideal filters. This low pass ideal filters it removes all frequencies. Above certain frequency components. So, in the first statement, what I mentioned, the simplest low pass filter is a filter that cuts off all high frequency component of the Fourier transform that are at a distance greater than the specified distance d of zero. D of zero is nothing but the threshold value. The threshold value you have to be considered from the origin of the transforms. The transfer functions we are going to represent in ideal low pass filters. So here, h of u v equal to here. The one if d of u less than or equal to the threshold. The given value d is greater than or equal to d zero when it is the second case. So these where d of u the distance from the point u v at the center of the frequency rectangle box the origin where we are going to consider the origin. So that it should be represented like this in the last uh, equations. So these low pass filters we can. Represented in the image form, we have three diagrams. The first one it is called as a plot of ideal low pass filters transfer functions. How the transfer functions will be represented with respect to the image. Second one it is called as a filters displayed as a image. We can use the filters. That is what ideal low pass filters displays are to be mentioned. And the last one it is called as a filter radial cross sections. So in the examination point of view, we should write the last one. It is enough. There we have to represent d of u v is represented in the y axis. Sorry, h of u will be represented in the y axis and d of u will be represented in the x axis. The filter radial cross sections that is what. Where the cutoff frequency d of zero decide the amount of frequency component passed by the filters. If Smaller the value of d zero, more are the number of frequency component eliminated by the filters. In general, d of zero is chosen such that most of the frequency component of interest are passed while unnecessary components are to be eliminated. Suppose. In case of useful way to establish a set of standard cutoff frequencies is to compute circle having a certain percentage of the total image we have be represented. So one more example. I will consider it for ideal low pass filters. Please, all of you, look into these example. How we can represent the origin to be considered with a different value of uh, 
d0 the radial value may be considered here 5 15 30 and 80 the same way the circle the percentage we have to be represented the respectively we mentioned in the bottom of this figure or the figure cap captions so here some more example in the ideal low pass filters see how ideal low pass filters it happens the first one is a original image and the remaining all filters ideal low pass filter with the different cut off frequencies at cut off values may be considered from 515 cr which one is more clear please look into that the clarity of the image and here some more some other examples what we represented in the frequency aspasia aspasia versus in the frequency please look into that these two diagrams these and the, these two di diagrams and then we'll come to the second one butterworth low pass filters so i will continue the butterworth low pass filters in the next class now today i will wind up with the ideal low pass filters so the properties of ideal low pass filters it is non real non actual and non physical but it can be stimulated in the computers and as the filter radius increases less and less power transformations or less and less power information is removed which results in less blurring keep on radius is increases the less blur blurring a very noticeable effect that can be observed in the output image is the ringing the ringing is undesirable and unpleasant lines around the object present in the image so this is what the concept we'll consider in the ideal low pass filters so the d0 value will be considered both ringing and blurring reduces when d0 is increases that is what the overall conclusion of ideal low pass filter okay thank you i will continue in the next class with the butterworth low pass filters thank you thank you anand